Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas, everyone. All right, guys, Neo Day just happened and there's a lot of stuff to cover. So today we're gonna go through everything, features, pricing, etc. So the event first started off with Neo Band performing, very cool, and then they shared three different stories about uh, Neo owners, etc. And then Willem Lee came out and talked about some of the previous achievements they've done and also a lot of charity work as well. And then they talked about their expansion progress so far, 97 new houses, 298 new spaces all across the world. And uh, one highlight of the Neo Day event was they talked about how they have these user joy partners, basically Neo owners that own businesses and restaurants giving discount to other Neo owners. So that's something they're very proud of. And then they also talked about the achievements of the ET7, won multiple awards in Germany, very, very nice. And then their Clean Parks Initiative, how they're working with a lot of different organizations to preserve the environment. And then they talked about sponsoring different racing teams, including racing teams in Germany. And then they, he talked about the cumulative distance traveled by all new owners, so 7.8 billion kilometers, very nice. And then uh, they talked about swap station, swap station deployment, of course, with Neo Swap Station, chartable, swappable, upgradable, and then also how 80% uh, of the people that charge at Neo's superchargers are actually other EVs. Very nice. And then they had a big chart breaking it down. So you see there's Neo, and then there's other guys as well, like Teslas, etc., etc. They're all charging at Neo superchargers. Very nice. And then talked about how they've opened 48 de destination charging routes. So they've basically placed a lot of chargers along the highway, that kind of stuff. And then 500 kilowatt power charger 3.0, very nice highlight. So look at it, it's peak power, 500 kilowatts, 660 amps, max current, very nice. Charges, uh, it has liquid cooled cable, very light. And uh, you're able to charge about 200 kilometers in 20 minutes, I believe. Talked about swap stations, 1,286 swap stations so far. And we talked about how PowerSwap is now the most favorite solution for new owners to replenish their power. So over 50% of new owners choose swapping, 53.6%. Swap stations in general have done 15 million cumulative swaps. So that's very nice. He talked about the car of the most swap was one uh, ES8 owner with 450,000 kilometers and he did 1,300 swaps. William Lee jokingly said online that all the free swaps is enough to buy a BMW X3. So he saved himself a BMW X3. He talked about how 68.7% of all residential places are within three kilometers of a swap station. So that's something they're very proud of. And then of course we had Gen 3 swap stations very very nice and there's a very interesting video showcasing this gen 3 power swap stations of course some of the highlight of this swap station is that uh it is it also features lidar sensors and you're able to uh there's 21 batteries inside able to service 408 people two high resolution lidar sensors and two nvidia orange chips which allows you to actually get out and the car swap by itself and then drive out. It has the world's first bi-directional liquid cooled high power charging module. So 68% max efficiency and 62.5 kilowatt charging slash discharging power. Gen 3 swap stations will be available March, 2023. Very nice. Swapping time is improved by 20%. And then they showcase the video of Neo Autonomous Pilot Swapping. So basically, when you're on the highway, uh, you can use Highway Pilot, and then it'll drive to a swap station, swap, and then still be on your way. Very, very nice. You don't have to touch the steering wheel. Uh, so that's very amazing as well. So Power Swap Pilot for Highway, that's what it's called. Very, very cool stuff. And then they talked about continuous advances in battery technology for every user, and they aim to have 1,700 total swap stations in 2023 with 20,000 plus chargers. And then it came the EC7. This is the NT 2.0 version of the EC6, which I personally have the EC6. EC7 Coupe SUV, very nice looking. 
the rear lights really resembles the ET5. Elegance is power is the slogan, and we see the dimensions. Uh huh. 4.9 meters long, 1.9 meters wide, wheelbase of 2.9 meters. Very elegant looking. It is indeed elegance. They talked about the design proportions and the sloping angles. Very, very good looking car. Shark nose, X bar, double dash, daytime running lights. Very similar to everything they have on the NT 2.0 platforms right now. And most impressively, this car uh, also has everything that we have expect on the ES7. Illumi blade tail light, watchtower sensor layout, just like the ES7. Smart matrix headlights, dual mode active spoilers. So there's actually two different configurations for the angles of that uh, rear wing. So they, they call it a spoiler, but it's more like a wing. You can have eco mode for lower drag, and then you can have sport mode for higher downforce. Very, very cool. 650 newtons of downforce. Very cool. The interior, very elegant looking. Panoramic all glass roof, same as the EC6. Ten plus, more than 10% in noise reduction and 99.9% .9 UV protection. One of the highlights of this uh, EC7 is the dark gray electrochromic roof glass, which is one of the first applied in uh, cars of this price point. So basically you can adjust the transmittance level uh, with a touch of a button. So that's very cool. You can make it darker to block more light or you can make it uh, more transparent too. And then we have a good look at the interior, bio-based fabrics, best in class space, very nice integrated sports seats, very comfortable. And then heating, air cushion, ventilation, uh, and then massage ventilation and massage on the second row is optional. So you can choose that, but for the front seat, these are all standard, very cool. And then you got the new queen seat, which is the new lounge seat, uh, zero gravity position. So basically you can almost lie flat, very cool, very nice. Panel cinema, 23 speakers, 7.1.4 surround sound, very nice. Got a lot of different colors, and then the color of this year is sunlight gold. So that's very cool. And this is what it looks like, the sunlight gold, apparently uh, at different angles. It's got this different hue to it, very cool looking. Lots of different interior, up to five different interior colors. And then just another nice look, it has the lowest sports uh, at lowest air drag coefficient of an SUV at only 0.23 so that's very impressive as well and then the powertrain what do you expect same with all the Neos 180 in the front 300 kilowatt hour induction in the back very cool 480 kilowatt power output 850 newton meters of torque 3.8 seconds, 0 to 100. It's the fastest SUV yet. It's even slightly a bit faster than the ES7. So because of its uh, good air drag coefficient, its range, 75 kilowatt hour pack gets you 490 kilometers, 100 kilowatt hour pack gets you 635 kilometers, and 150 kilowatt hour pack gets you 940 kilometers. Now, unfortunately, he did say how the uh, uh, 150 kilowatt hour pack has been delayed and he apologized for that. So it is a lot uh, to process and, and, and there's still a lot of work to be done in, in terms of manufacturing of this battery pack. So stay tuned for that. The braking distance, 33.9 meters from 100 to zero. Very impressive. And then you use the six piston front brake calipers. These are all developed by Neo, even though on stage he said Brembo, but it's not Brembo, just keep in mind. But not to say these are worse than Brembo. These are still very impressive. 380 millimeter ventilated brake discs. Very nice. 50-50 weight distribution. Very, very impressive. High strength, all aluminum body. I love the fact that they're sticking with all aluminum. Same with the EC6, same with the ES7. That's very nice. High performance chassis. Uh-huh. Double wishbone, HR, multi-link suspension, smart air suspension, continuous damping control, intelligent chassis controller. Basically like the ES7, everything you got in the ES7, you got in here. 10 different driving modes, very, very impressive as well. Neo second generation cockpit, course A155 trip, 5G, Wi-Fi 6, 
all that good stuff. And then <clears throat> they talked about how uh, the screens, 10.2 inch uh, instrument cluster, and then you got a 12.8 inch AMOLED center display, very nice. One of the highlights that they didn't really talk about in the EC7 is the 16 inch HUD, which is actually much bigger than what we got in the ES7. So it's actually improved and much bigger. But they didn't go over that. We'll go over that later when we talk about the new ES8. Nomi AI Companion, of course, has Aquila, which is the high performance sensing units, 33 total units, add on computer, four Orin chips, 1016 tops, neural networking power, very cool. And then this is all the 22 safety and driver assistance features, which are standard, very nice. So here's another good look at that, all the different specs included with this car. And then we have a nice video showcasing the entire EC7. Very nice, elegant looking, of course, the slogan elegant is power. And then we go into pricing. This is very interesting. Pricing 75 kilowatt hours uh, with the pack, 75 kilowatt hour pack, 488,000 RMB, not very cheap. 100 kilowatt hour pack, 546,000 with the battery. And then same for the bass, 418,000, not exactly cheap. And then the premier version, which has a lot of standard stuff, uh, that comes in at a price of 578,000. So not very cheap indeed with bass, 450,000. Some of the user rights that come with the car, 10 year unlimited warranty, lifetime free power swap, lifetime free connectivity, free power home charger, lifetime free roadside rescue. Very nice, very standard stuff. And then they're accepting deposit. If you deposit 5,000, that's actually equivalent to 10,000. So you save 5,000 RMB. And then existing NEO owners that buy it get 30,000 NEO points. Uh, delivery starts May 2023. So May 2023, that's when we can see deliveries. Another good look, very nice looking car. They talked about ES8, how there's been cumulatively 65,233 deliveries total of the ES8, including the founders and also the new ES8. Sales volume of ES8 and other premium three row SUVs. This is only uh, BBA, BMW, Mercedes, Audi. So you see Mercedes Benz GLS. In China, in total, they have actually, new ESA has taken third spot, but in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, they've taken number one spot. Uh, of course, this is excluding guys like Li Auto and, and other guys like that. And then he said, thank you for your trust. That's the cumulative total distance traveled by ES8, 2.8 billion kilometers. Very, very impressive. They talked about how the ES8 represents a work, family, social exploration, and all around flagship SUV. He talked about how people wanted an MPV. Everybody's asking willingly, when are you going to release an MPV? And he said, with this car, you don't need an MPV. So basically, he's talking about the new, all new ES8. And then this came on stage. Very, very nice. Same front end as the ES8, the ES7 but you got more elongated uh, midsection and rear section. Very nice looking car indeed. Here are some of the pictures. Redefine Prime. And of course, they're also going over the after the MPV market and, and uh, he said, well, all good MPVs don't have the acceleration of a good SUV. So that's his excuse for not making an MPV instead if you want an MPV, buy this car. So the dimensions, very big car, 5.099 meters long, 1.989 meters wide, and then 1.75 meters tall. Very elegant, nice looking. One of the complaints I heard at the service center with lots of other new owners sitting there, they said, why does it look the same as the ES7? Of course, with Right now, the ES8 and the ES6, there's very big distinguishing looks with the ES8. You can clearly tell it's an ES8, but with the all-new ES8s, you can't really tell that this is an ES8 just from the front. 
X bar, shark nose, double dash, daytime running lights. And then they talked about how the matrix lights are very, very impressive and it uses LIDAR to actually not light up certain sections, you know, for road safety. Very nice. Composed posture, talked about design, very nice design, very good looking car. Six piston front brake calipers, 22 inch high gloss four wheels, very impressive. Integrated fender cameras, capacitive charge port. This is something that's a bit different from all the existing Neos. You tap and then it'll open up and it's capacitive touch. So that's very cool. And then we got flush windows, high glass roof, decor and racks, invisible rear wipers that actually hide, integrated spoilers. Very impressive. Illumi blade tail light. Mm, yeah, just like the ET7. And then we got a good look at the sensors. Very, very nice looking car. Ultra large panoramic sunroof. Nice. And then the different colors available. Very, very nice. Of course, we got the uh, gold color, the new gold color, which is also available. Intelligent all wheel drive, the powertrain, same as the EC7, same as the uh, all these other NT2.0 cars. 180 kilowatt in the front and then a 300 kilowatt induction motor in the back, 480 kilowatt of power, 850 newton meters of torque, 4.1 second, zero to 100. So air drag coefficient, 0 0.25. And then the range, 75 kilowatt hour pack, 465 kilometers, 100 kilowatt hour pack, 605 kilometers, and then 900 kilometers with the 150 kilowatt hour pack. High strength, all aluminum body with 90.5% aluminum alloy. Very nice, very impressive. This is what we need, all aluminum body integral die casting. So basically what he said is there's one presser that compresses 30 different parts together and that's just done in one move. So that's very, very impressive. Smart dual chamber air suspension. So that's gonna guarantee a very, very soft ride safety and handling uh, features this is everything they have you can pause the video to take a closer look and then of course it has the assisted driving system aquila atom all that cool stuff 48 a78 cpu cores and then 1116 tops very very impressive graceful entry and exit soft closed doors just like the es7 upscale space very, very elegant and clean interior with uh, metallic trims on the knobs and everything. Tech layer and comfort layer. Metallic finish, there it is. Gear shifter, flush cup holders. Very, very nice. Two-tone steering wheel stocks. Eco-friendly materials, sustainable rattan and sustainable soybean-based foam. Haptex microfiber headlines, so very nice interior and they've actually reached baby safety standards so this is very means their quality is very very nice smart five zone climate control very impressive that they can you know you have five different zones that you can control the climate smart fragrance system very impressive and of course the highlight of this car is the second row they've really souped up the second row uh here are some of the colors uh you got beige gray brown green yeah very very nice progressive and warm mobile living space the heads-up display you can actually see now that the heads-up display is absolutely huge it's massive and then uh, you can use there's microphones at different sections in the car so even people in the third row can actually quietly use Nomi without having to shout very very cool and then the sound system, 7.1.4, same as ES7, same as uh, EC7. And then you have quiet space, laminated glass, noise reducing tires. So there's, uh, he said how there's only 60 decibels of noise when you're traveling really fast at 100 kilometers per hour. So that's very, fairly, fairly quiet. And of course, with this new uh, panoramic panel cinema experience you can actually connect up to four different AR glasses and lots of rich content very nice and then they talked about the Neo premium seat platform how this uses a lot of different uh, materials and then 20-way adjustable 
five comfort features and photo continuous updates so actually you can get upgrades for your seat via software photo updates firmware updates so it's more durable and 25 percent mass reduction the front seats have 20 weight power adjustable very very impressive and then the back seats uh -huh, we got big lounge seats in the back unique s-shaped cockpit 22 way power adjustable lounge mode and zero gravity position spacious comfortable and exclusive space it's super super wide 515 millimeters ultra wide comfort seats so these are actually for the boss you know the boss got to sit in the second row 12 way power adjustable power leg support one touch comfort mode and then you got the center module which is called the executive console and this basically is a retractable place that you can charge your phone with and also smart fridge which is actually a uh, very impressive 0 to 50 degrees of controllable temperature and this is really just uh, and this is also controllable via your phone so if you want you can uh, turn that on beforehand very good for uh, infant formula uh, or if you got drinks you want to chill your drinks very very nice standard with best in class comfort features zone heating and ventilation air cushion memory hot stone massage that's one of the features so the massage points are actually warm and hot very very impressive second row seats easy access to third row so one one tap and then you can the, the seats fold up and you can get into the third row the third row also has power backrest so you can actually control it and then also zone heating one touch fold and unfold so if you want more storage space you can fold down the third row seats very nice this is all the features on the uh, new all new es8 so you guys can pause the video and take a look and just another good general look at the es8 and then well yeah like this is a very comfortable looks place you can of course use the ar glasses enjoy some beer enjoy some drinks this is really for the boss and then there's also the option to choose uh the car with a center aisle instead of the center console so that's very cool very spacious mm -hmm. the seats even if you don't choose the console it's a very very uh, comfortable experience you got 14 way adjustable seats on, on these kind of seats very nice these are all the features, very, very impressive. And then the price starts at 528,000 for the 75 kilowatt hour pack and 586,000 for the 100 kilowatt hour pack. And with Bass, the price is 458,000. So that is something to keep in mind. It's not very cheap, but it is for the boss. Right? Not everybody can be the boss. Price for executive version, 548,000 with the 75 kilowatt hour pack. 606,000 for the 100 kilowatt hour pack. Pretty hefty price tag, but of course, the boss, the boss has money. The boss isn't isn't poor. So the signature edition features premium interior, elegant wheels, eight pillar badge, pine green interior, lots of cool stuff and that starts at 638,000 with the 100 kilowatt hour pack, 510,000 with bass and of course you got the standard user rights very very cool and if you deposit 5,000 you get 10,000 RMB in deduction so 5,000 RMB extra off and if you're an existing NEO owner you get 30,000 bonus NEO points and if you're a founder owner you get 50,000 bonus NEO points for ordering the new ES8 the all new ES8 and then uh, ES8 users actually Bounty users get an additional 15,800 off, which is very nice and very generous for Neo to do because the founders have stuck with the company since the beginning. So that's very, very impressive. They got to give something back to them. Exclusive for founding users, you get eight pillar bash, embossed headrest, and tail emblem. So you still get the founder's badge on the ESA to let people know you're the founder. Delivery starts June 2020 overall like uh, at the event one thing to note is that there is no seven seater version of the all new ES8 uh, some people here have complained about that but it is what it is there's no seven seaters only six seaters
I mean, even though I'm not at the Neil Day event, but at the service center, there's a lot of people watching. Uh, the first impression for people is, man, it's not cheap. And also, uh, people were slightly disappointed with how the, the ES8, the new ES8, doesn't look different from the ES7. It looks the same. And, 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 and I quietly heard someone said they're going the Lee Auto route. So basically, if you know, Lee Auto L8 and L9, they look the same, but it's just different sizes, more, more room in the L9, and the fridge in the L9, and then they're basically going the same route. That's what some other guys said. From what I heard from the new manager, just casual conversation, this is definitely a premium product for the boss, for the people that got money. Someone jokingly said it's as expensive as their home. So this is definitely vehicles for the bosses. And even the EC7, not exactly cheap as well. It's more expensive than the ES7. Don't expect these guys to be high volume sales. These are for the bosses, the people with money, the rich folks. Once again, this is cementing Neo as a premium brand, even above Tesla, even above everybody else. They're at the top of the mount and this really establishes themselves out there. And in the future, when they launch the cheaper models via the uh, Himalaya and, and Aspen brands, that's when you're gonna see high volume sales. And another limiting factor right now is CATL can't supply enough batteries for NEO. So NEO has gradually taken the route, starting to build their own batteries. They've bought, purchased lithium mines, and of course, they're slowly gonna develop their own batteries so they become independent of CATL in the future. And even if CATL can't supply that many batteries, NEO's got batteries themselves that they can continuously push out more cars. So in general, very nice looking cars. Which car are you most excited about? The EC7 or the all new ES8? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.